against the link. Having a, a bit of peel? Under, I understand. Okay. I don't know. This is a bit 50 50 here in the draft. But yeah, TLID. Like number I two. Let's trust the, battle the battle process. Field. Ladies Smash and gentlemen, them. welcome to game number one in the Specialty 3 series to close out week number seven as the cavalry charges against the White Tigers. Let's see if the White Tigers can continue their Cinderella run. Mm, wow, that's Aurora on the lethal ignition, folks. Yes, kill his here to deal damage, not to try to utility out his way to a win. Fabian already kind of zoned away by dreams there on the Mathilda, and Annabelle will start things off with a bit of a lead when it comes to the clear. We know that dreams can be disruptive, especially given certain heroes, right? We've seen him being disruptive on the Franco, and now he's replicating that identity with the Matilda. But for the most part, it is still an equal level. Is there anything else that stands out that we should keep an eye on? Mm, honestly, not, not too much looking at it. Let me see here, though. Oh, tenacity and vitality already. Aran, aggressive cut there, getting poked by a bit. It's a rupture. Wow. Yeah, Yeheskiel is just going all in here for damage, for magic damage. So it might just be like a glass cannon composition for the side of TLID for at least the mid and jungle. Meanwhile, the other part of the team, Yeheskiel, already forced the flicker. Well, there goes the glass cannon, right? I mean, doubling down on the damage. And the problem is the Aurora and the Angela. I don't think they clear as fast as a... Eve and a Matilda, so that rotation should be hindered by just a bit. Evil should have better control when it comes down to that. We do see some damage being traded in in the EXP lane. Now, we haven't touched on this actually. Hylos versus a glue. Yeah, I would say this is accurate right here. The glue does have more ways to bully, especially after the change, right? You do get a bit more damage. You also have that sustain built in. So if Aran wants to go all in, as long as Psychos keeps picking up those Blues, I guess, from the floor. It'll be great. Fabian trying to contest. You're also going. They have the better setup now with a real world relation as well. It will, yeah, zone out members of TLID. Well done. They're not going to commit onto it. I mean, earlier on, Fabian was a level below of Anvil anyway. And a lot of junglers have actually struggled against Anvil in that retribution contest, even when it was a 50 50. So. TLID, they don't go for the contest, but the question is, what do they do as compensation for that small win for EVOS? Well, for TLID, I think the best answer is to do nothing, just farm up, just farm up. But we do have our talent prediction by Gope. Oh, man. Only Spapulu, despite Nevin being a, an EVOS fan, I believe. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is the same thing when we saw the Classical Derby, right? A lot of people have rated the performance. And okay. who won? Oh, exactly. Uh -oh. So can Evils replicate that success? Can Papuru replicate his success That's from yesterday? True. Getting all the matches right? That is... I don't think we've ever seen that in the history of MPLID, so... <laughs> hey, right. hey, I guess we'll see if TLID can do it, or if Evils are going to shock the world back to back. Annavel, ooh, have to see. He's very quick early on, and this is the snowball that I was talking about already for Annavel. Bottom lane, the non-lane here. Natko can poke, but Aaron can heal, especially with Witty around. There is no poke. Annabelle, ooh! Oh, that's, ooh, that's a good trigger on that passive. Circling Eagle, though, now. We'll try to find Wait. Fabian now with the help of the hard guard. Tempest to Blade! Dreams, good night! And that is going to be TLID. Finding first blood. Finally, three minutes. Almost a four-minute game without a kill. Fabian takes that first blood. But I guess that's the value of the Aurora, right? If you go against an assassin type of composition, Yeheskiel with the passive should be able to get out of that and nullify that from happening. But Fabian going under turret with Weedy, is that a good way to find a compensation for what happened earlier on? When you have a god on the ling like Fabian, I guess, yeah. 1v3. Oh, oh no, Fabian secures the turtle. So that will be a different story from the first one. All right, okay. What? Fabian. Were they... They were... What? He came out of nowhere. That was like what Leo would call it, Grand Theft Turtle. That was just a flyby, man. Usually we see a <laughs> drive-by. He just flew past, stole it from mid-air on the wall, and, then and walked away. He didn't even <laughs> use the ultimate. That was clean. I, I'm trying to find a word that is cleaner than clean, but I guess I would just have to say that was a Fabian play. 
Chi. And we can see the Berserker's Fury rush here, only getting the boots. It's the first part of the boots, doesn't have to complete it. Oh, they're clean. Eagle, good cancellation, but the damage will be enough to mm. take Aaron Chi Chi down. Annabelle was too clean with it. It's going to be Haran and Psychots. And whoa, turret wise, TLID finds some compensation. Okay, it looks like TLID, they're getting their groove back. But so is Evos, right? The okay. White Tigers showing their fangs here, being able to get that counter mirror play happening, right? Picking up that turret as well in the bottom lane. And it's dead even between these two teams. I guess we could say, at least for the early game, Evos' win yesterday was not a fluke. They're going head-to-head -head against one of the best in the business. They are number two in the standings right now, TLID. With their rookies, they've been, they've looked unstoppable in leg two, literally undefeated. But Evos are staying by really good, able to get a trade onto Aaron Shiki on this Ruby. And now for TLID, there's a extreme strength, but it is also their weakness. Their strength is they play for Fabian. The Ruby is literally just a supplement for Fabian. Same goes for the Aurora, same goes for everyone, a steal? Oh my goodness, another, no, almost, no. almost. Uh-oh. The Guiding Win, it will find Annabelle some comfort to get away from that situation. Luckily, man, I mean, somebody's got to stop Fabian at this point. Fabian doesn't have that retribution, by the way, so Annabelle should be able to get this without any contest. What's the re retaliation from the cavalry here? Just chill again, don't need to rush unless they want to just fight for it. Gorge Hathaway pops as well around! My goodness, the Prince finds a huh? turtle. Now, Cyclops with a split split looking for a mount. On towards Iran, finds it. That's Iran, the king, mounting a horse. Ooh. That's a certainly eagle pop. Tempest of Blade as well looking for Annabelle. Fabian, though, will not be able to find the execute. No bodies, just the turtle. How did that happen again? Well, that was just unlucky for the retributions. At least Fabian and Annabelle were thinking, all right, we're just going to have to predict this retribution because it's 50 50 on the board. Both of them retreat, the horse got it. <laughs> it's just another situation of the XP lane having a better retreat than the jungle. It happened yesterday, happened today, uh, many times. Actually, even Moreno had a little bit of a, you know, <laughs> retreat steal there. But Evo's glory were able to still hold on. They didn't lose any of their members there, and they were actually able to get the resource advantage at the end. TLID still holding that gold lead. So let's talk about power spikes now, right? Because essentially, TLID with the Ruby in the gold lane, are we looking at a mid-game power spike for them? And when does that window close? Oh yeah, mid-game power spike for sure. I would say when it closes, I'll have to see when it opens first. And I'm gonna have to take a look behind me for Evo's composition, their items. Their mid-game power spike honestly might be halted by Evos' mid-game power spike because both of them have a mid-game power spike. The Harith is going to be really good. Nolan, Mathilda, Yi, Glue, everybody. So both of them are actually playing for the mid-game. But when it comes to scaling, yes, Evos' glory will have an advantage. Deal ID, they don't just have to play with their power spike. They're going to have to out-execute Evos' glory. This is a tough game for them. See here, eight minutes in, still very equal in the economy. Also, the turrets. It seems like Evo's Glory, they are able to just still control within their own tempo. Natko, I mean, I think he ha has been farming very well as well. I don't think anyone has actually punished him yet, right? 001, level 10, as compared to Eren. Mm -hmm. And what item is he on again? What are you on, Chiki? Or Natko? Natko? Or Mr. Natko, man. Oh, oh wait. wait a second. That's a, a mobilization. Aaron Tiki with the flicker trying to get away, but it seems Ooh. like Anaheim will find the execute now. Iran in trouble. Run, horse, run. It seems like even with the vengeance, he will not fall. Fabian jumps in to secure the cover. Netco dreams. Good night. Cyclops next on the chopping block. Anaheim looking for an angle, but with the split split, Cyclops was able to get out. One. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. Into for some blade. Anaheim will get out. Fracture is. Not available, so Annabelle will recall. Yeheskiel, what are you doing? All right, okay, Annabelle recalls. That was, that was not supposed to happen that way. Fabian coming in, being able to scrap everything up. Let's see what happens next. Doors halfway pop so That will hinder the movement of the Evos glory, and that will just a clean lore take from the cavalries. Wow, again, just out executing Evos glory, I have to say. Evo's got such an amazing team fight there, but TLID knows 
that all they need to do is bait out all the resources. If Aaron dies, no problem. If Aran dies, no problem. As long as Fabian comes in last with all of his resources still intact, and that question earlier will be answered just by the in-game equipment by Dunia Games. Hereth still in the lead, but quite far away from that Holy Crystal. Will be oh! Gee. And Anaval testing the damage Whoa. now with the help of Hard Guard, though. <laughs> Fabian, bro. I mean, the hard guy wasn't committed to per se, but Fabian, man, what a guy. This guy's clean with it, man. This guy's insane. His mechanics are ridiculous. Lord Fabian in MDL, now the usurper. Fabian for Liquid ID. Plus, the race is already done as well. This is the power spike that we were talking about for TL ID, but again, oh. Evos. Have a power spray themselves. Sorry, I thought they were going to go for 1v1. <laughs> I thought you were shocked because if we drink, I would be too. I was, I was a little. been taken, by the way. <laughs> and it's full cup. <laughs> Luckily, it's not half cup. But yeah, I thought I was I was looking at the minimap earlier, and wow, I thought Fabian was going to take that 1v1 against Annabelle. That would have been a sight to see. I hope we get to see it, actually, at some point what, in this Tropicana game. What, Tropicana Double Crunch? Yeah, that too. Oh, I didn't get one no. earlier on. My Same. mistake. But TLID will be getting a turret off of uh, Evos' head and shoulders. Ah! The what you did there. Get it? Because the head and shoulders thing came up? So it's like, that's yeah, right. No. No, we don't get it. I don't, no, get, we it. don't get it. Absolutely not. Fleeting time already done for Witty. That uh, will definitely help him enable some of these plays again, but surely. At a certain point, TLID will hit a wall. When that window closes, I would say, in terms of just pure fighting ability, pure team fight ability, 16 to 17 should be when EVOs can take control with the Yeev and the Harith. But it comes down to execution still. TLID have an advantage when it comes to playing around the waves. And having the Ling means that you'll be able to utilize that mobility to just go up top when the Lord spawns in below, to push in waves, and then to outplay EVOs. So if we're talking to execution, the window won't close. Pure team fight, yeah, it will close. But that's why we're playing a MOBA here, folks. It's not as... 50-50, black and white is that. I love it. I love this game. He's pushing the lane up top. Exactly, that mobility. Is Anavel going to clear it in time? I don't think so. He can't 1v1 a Ling. And on top of that, it's not a 1v1. It's a Ling and an Angela. So I don't think anyone on the team of Evos can 1v1 that Angela Ling. Oh, no. This is the thing we were talking about before the match began, right? Macro presence from TLID. And we're seeing it. Challenging the White Tigers right now. Looks like Anavel is going to have to clear that up, and TLID will use that opportunity to go in for the setup for this Lord that has spawned in the Land of Dawn. Well, jungler's level 15, so let's see here. Um, Evos Glory, it uh, seems like setup wise, they are a bit behind, but TLID, they will not rush on towards the Lord. No, they know they can't. There's no way for them to burst the Lord, unfortunately, so. Whenever they walk up to the Lord, it's just a dance. It's a pull. They have no way to actually threaten a real Lord take here. It's actually Evos who can do that. But <laughs> TLID have the advantage in the side wave. So it's a game of chess at this point. Both of them have their own strengths. None of them can really threaten a pick unless... Yeah, SQ walks up. Oh, Haran initiating. And in the back, wow. side Walkman. Cuts alone. Side cuts now pops the split. Split in a very awkward position and he will be punished. Evos Glory are in shambles. Well, that's the answer, right? They don't go full force, full throttle on the Lord. They look for picks left and right, and unfortunately, they have to catch Glocken and Psychots lacking. Without these two members, Evos, they can't stand a chance to go in for the contest for the Lord. And that's going to be free for the Cavalry in the 13th minute of the game. Home hard guard to save oh, the day, guiding wind. With a searchly eagle, now Tempest up lane, that call. My goodness, Fabian finds it. Ooh. Let's go Liquid, and Annabelle is going to go down as well. Double kill for Flava Fave. They're getting destroyed. I can't say anything, that was absolute class. That was cinema right there from Fabian. The usurper Flava Fave, what is he made of? The camera can't even take it. It's when he tried to focus on Fabian, it shook. That's his power level. Oh my <laughs> lord, Fabian. Disgusting stuff from Flava Fave, from the Usurper, as TLID have built up a 6,000 gold lead. They can slow push up top, they can wait for the next wave and then push in all together. Oh my goodness, Fabian. Let's see the defense now for the White Tigers. What's the plan? That's the question, base turret. 
will be their main objective, and that will be cleared top and bot. Evolve's glory, they will have to take care of the Lord first. And TLID, they know that's a win. That's a, that's already a win. Two base search taken down, and Cyclops initiating. Oh, this might be a mistake. Cyclops taking a lot of damage. Weedy as well. Annabelle looking for a flank, but Cyclops falls for Zoran. Very low survives. Then Fabian will not be able to find any members, but the base, base turret in the mid will be cleared. So Evos Glory, they can live another day. Cyclops made a gamble, and unfortunately the payout was not it. He had to lose his life in the process. But essentially, was it that bad of a trade? I mean, it was just Cyclops taken down, and... The possibility of finding something? Was there was there something there for Psychots? I honestly feel like it was a bit desperate, right? They wanted to just try to force out a fight, force TLID to take that fight in Evo's glory's terms. When Clawkin can use the real world manipulation to lock him down and deal damage, when Nako can use his Amon Force, but TLID are a bit too smart for that. You can see that just flexing with the TLPH recall. Fomion, he has skill with the C as well. All very confident. Flashbacks to the first leg when they did this too, and it was Flavor Fave on the funny. Funny. <laughs> Flavor Fomion and funny. <laughs> oh man. 6.9k gold lead now. 7.3 actually. Psychos opening up the map. But TLID, they're not quitting. They don't stop there. They're looking to take this purple buff. And they will, they I should be able so. to take it. Oh, they have a 7,000 gold, and if Evos walk up, they're dead, right? Yeah, I don't think Annabelle should take this, but oh, TLID. Annabelle, don't do it. Oh, no. Oh, he gets it. Oh, no. oh, okay. Okay. Clean. Nice. That's a bait, though. The retry bait. True, true. The timers align in favor of the cavalry, right? It will take a Quite some time for that retribution to come back up for Annabelle. And so TLID, they have a choice. Do they rush this? Which they can't. What's the next plan? Last time they had to take down two members. So it looks like Yeheska and Iran, they're looking for that play. Psychon's trying to provide vision and as well as the body, but Fabian finds the Lord. Now Fabian in the back side! Wow. will not be able to give an impact. Nako next, Psychon's. Will he go down? He mounts one member, but he will fall. Ooh. As Fabian will be shut down. As he has kill, finds one though. And of LN Dreams looking for the clear to defend the base turret. Let's see here, Aaron Shiki Ron for the base. TLID finds game one. 17 minutes and 30 seconds. That was the moment where Evil should have gotten an edge. But TLID, they made that impossible. The cavalry, they charge, and they open up a window by leading this first game in this best of three. The cavalry strikes first and they strike hard. That was a 